I'm not big into drawing or anything like that. But when I saw this for the price of $4.99, I'm not sure why it's not focusing. It seems kind of stupid to me. Come on, you piece of crap. There we go. When I saw this for $4.99, well, I had to have it. <laughs> this is a Wacom selected by Inspira or Inspira or something. I'm not sure why the focus on this camera is being so stupid tonight. It was great yesterday and now all of a sudden it's not. Volito. I think this is a Volito 2 based on the model number. Yep, see, there you go. Volito 2. Apparently I don't do a very good job of looking what it is I'm making a video of while I'm making a video of it. Including a step-by-step -step interactive tutorial, the pen for your PC, and some other various tidbits here. I have the pen. The pen was actually sitting out. So there's your pen right here. Go ahead and flip this around and see some other bits. Whether it's invitations, birthday cards, or creative holiday photos, you can now add your personal touch to it on the PC. With Volito 2, the market leader, Wacom provides you with the proven and patented technology you need. And a couple of other bits. You can pause the video if you want to read any of this. Ergonomic, it says. Here's a look at it. Or a diagram, at least. We could get some focus, please. Well, it had it, and then it lost it. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this camera or not. I bought it on uh, Friday. I may just return it, because it's actually turning out to be more cumbersome than it's worth. I may return it and see if I can get another one, or a different one that's already there or something. Alright, let's pop it out of the box. Opening up the box, there's not really much here. We've got the user's manual for the Volito 2. I'm not sure if that also includes the tutorial or not. I would doubt it. It probably came with a driver's CD at some point, but I don't have it. Unless it's somewhere else in this box, and I just haven't found it yet. I've already taken the pen out. The pen went in this. Here's the actual tablet unit itself. Rather thin, actually. I was surprised to see that. Model number CTF420-01. There's your serial number, which I doubt the camera's going to get a focus on. And your power specifications, made in China. A decently long cord, but it's actually kind of a cheap piece of crap. Alright, let's take it out and have a little bit of a demonstration now. In some ways, it's kind of odd that I'm using a server operating system to test out a tablet. <laughs> but we'll see if it actually ends up working out. This might not even have a driver. Oh, look at this. It actually seems to have worked. I have an orange light. Let's go ahead and take our pen here. Oh, sweet. It actually does work. As a touchpad. Now, you can't use your finger with it. I do have a touchpad or a trackpad that you can use your finger with that will be in its own video as well. Maybe not shot with this camera, because this thing seems to be kind of cumbersome. But it does actually work. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a drawing test. Not the most accurate thing in the world. Okay, let me move the pen over here. And it's not all that great, really. 
For a Wacom product, I was expecting better. It's not bad. I will, I will give it that. It's not horrible. But for a Wacom product, I'm kind of disappointed in it. And maybe that's what the previous owners were. They were disappointed in the product itself, so they gave it to the thrift store. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it looks cool. Maybe I will actually get some use out of it, hook it up to my slideshow machine and use it to draw live on the air or something. I don't know. But it isn't really all too bad. It would probably be even better if I actually installed the proper driver and control panel software. Maybe it needs some calibration done on it or something. Because if I take this pen here and I go over top of it lightly, even without touching it, I'm moving the mouse around. I was moving the mouse around. Now all of a sudden it's not. There we go. There you go, that's a little better. Picks up my crappy handwriting just like it normally looks. Oops. I just picked another color, completely by accident. Oops. <laughs> ah, see? Not... I am not a tablet guy. You might be able to tell. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do something a little bit more different. Kind of stupid looking. Come on, move it over a bit. There we go. Now it's got a nose at least. <laughs> oh, I can spend hours goofing off with this thing. Yep, I can spend hours here. Let's go ahead for some of this stuff. I used to love spending hours upon hours on a Dell Latitude XPI, playing around in the MS Paint program, drawing all kinds of silly things like this. and doing things like that. Apparently this button also acts as a... There was a button that was acting as a... I guess it's not. I guess that's... Uh... Light turns green when you're actually touching it. And it turns orange when you're not. It's actually pretty cool. Alright. And there's your pen resting area. I think that's enough goofing off with that tablet. Uh, my final verdict on it is that it could be a whole lot better, especially for a Wacom or Wacom product. I've heard it called both Wacom or Wacom. I've usually said Wacom, but uh, you might hear both from me. Oh, look at this. There's a Java update that needs to be installed. I wonder if my tablet can do that too. <laughs> Oh boy, you can mitigate the stupid Java update. Either way, there's your tablet. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.